morning. Pastor Greg with you on this Monday morning. We're beginning a brand new book today. We're looking at Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians. Wonderful book, 1 Thessalonians, when we consider the things that were happening in the congregation and the things that, well, the themes that run through it. Thessalonians is regarded as probably Paul's earliest work, his first letter that he wrote to any of his congregations. And if we look at the themes through uh, 1 Thessalonians, it deals with a bunch of believers who are new in the faith and who needed encouragement, who needed uh, some clarity on some issues, and also they needed to be reminded that the Christian life involves blessings, Christian life also involves dealing with trials and tribulations. Uh, the brand new congregation in Thessalonica did encounter some persecution and Paul talks about that. The co little congregation in Thessalonica also, like most of us, had these theological issues. What happens when we die? When's the Lord going to come back again? How are we going to connect with Jesus what happens to the people that have gone before us and so Paul in a very simple way addresses these things and so if you as we go through you'll see these themes coming right through uh, the book of Thessalonians in times day of the Lord what happens when people die and the faith that we have as Christians in the time of persecution so uh, we're going to start off in the very first chapter of Thessalonians and we're going to read verses uh, 2 to 6 from chapter 1. Paul writes, We give thanks to God always for all of you, continually mentioning you in our prayers, recalling unceasingly before our God and Father your work energised by faith and your service motivated by love and unwavering hope in the return of our Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters beloved by God, we know that he has chosen you, for our good news regarding salvation came to you not only in word, but also in its inherent power and in the Holy Spirit, with great conviction on our part. You know what kind of men we proved to be among you for your benefit. You became imitators of us and through us of the Lord after you welcomed our message in a time of great trouble with the joy supplied by God's Holy Spirit. We reflect. The blessings of faith, hope and love are something we can give thanks for continuously. They also empower us for service and witness. Why don't we pray? Lord, make my life an example of faith, hope and love. Amen. 